Haleluya. Haleluya. Kwake. Jesus Christ. The son of the living God. Siku ya leo. Ni kipindi prophetic. Kwa maana kuna mambo kadha wa kadha ni taongea. Na baada ya kumaliza. Ni takutuma uwendo ukanawe mikono. Na baada ya kunawa hiyo mikono. Hizo shida zote na matatizo yote ya kuache kabisa Kwenye injiri ya Yohana chapter number 9 And verse number 7 Kuna kipofu ambaye kristo alimpaka matope kwa uso Kisha badaye akamuambia nenda ukanawe Kwenye birika ya siloama Na wakati huyu alienda kanawa macho yake Ya kafunguka na kanza kuona Alirusha mikono ndani ya maji ya siloama Kisha badaye akanawa uso Macho yake ya kafunguliwa Kulingana na prophetic anointing ya leo Bada ya yale yote nitakayo tangaza Utaenda unawe mikono yako Na hizo shida zako zitakuwa chilia Na baada ya kunawa mikono Ni nakutuma uende ukaisome Zaburi 112 yote kwa sauti Na zaburi 113 yote kwa sauti Ni nasema baada ya yale yote ni naongea leo Nendo kanawe mikono mpendo Laana zote ambazo zimejishikilia Ndani ya maisha yako Ya kwamba huwezi ukakamata pesa na zikai Ni nadiklea baada ya mimi kumaliza kila kitu Nenda ukanawe mikono Hicho kitu ambacho ni laana Ya kwamba huwezi ukawa na pesa kwa mkono Inaenda kwenda na maji wakati unanawa mikono In the mighty name of Jesus Christ Wewe ambayo huu unasumbuka na tumbo Mara unasumbuka Unaambiwa ni acid Mara unaambiwa ni typhoid Mara unaambiwa ni amiba Mara unatumia madawa mbali mbali Na hakuna lolote la maana linatendeka Ninasema baada ya mahobiri ya leo Nenda ukanawe mikono yako Na wakati unanawa mikono Hiyo problem ya tumbo Ambayo ime afflict wewe for a time Inaenda kuondoka miraculously in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth Wewe ambaye kuna kazi mbili Ambazo uliku meahidiwa And you never got any of them Baada ya mahobiri ya leo Nenda ukanawe mikono yako Whatever made you not get that job That thing is going to be dismantled The Lord is purifying you Nime kuambia kwenye injili ya John Chapter number 9 and verse number 7 Christo alimuambia mtu Nenda kwenye siloa mpula Nenda ukainame unawe uso wako Na wakati ya nanawa uso Akapokea mojiza wake Ni meambiwa today your miracle is in the water In the mighty name of Jesus Christ Haijalishi ni lana gani Is in operate in your very life Haijalishi ni matatizo Zogani ukonayo ya kifamilia Haijalishi diagnosis ya madaktari Inasema na mnagani Haijalishi ni nani ya metisha wewe Akitumia uchawi Au akitumia some high connections somewhere In the mighty name of Jesus Christ Baada ya mahubiri ya leo Wewe nenda utafute maji Nawa mikono yako kabisa Na wakati unanawa mikono Unanawa ukisema in the name of Jesus Na baada ya kumaliza kunawa mikono Nenda uichokue bibilia Kwa sauti ya juu Usome zaburi 112 Na zaburi 113 Na baada ya hapo Whatever the enemy has been using To afflict you and oppress you It is not going to be there any longer In the mighty name of Jesus Christ Marangapi umenyimu wa visa Bada ya mahubiri ya leo Nenda ukanawe mikono yako Whatever bad spirit Inatembeleanga 
maisha ni mwako that whatever you apply you never succeed I came to declare under the prophetic anointing God is doing an unusual thing in your very life in the name of Jesus Christ wewe ambaye ni mjamzito baada ya mahubiri ya leo nenda utafute maji na wa mikono the troubles with your pregnancy zitaenda na hayo maji wakati na nawa mikono hii sio mahubiri conventional hii ni prophetic hour this is a prophetic season that the god is about to honor his favor and that his people have already exercised in him in the mighty name of jesus christ nenda ukanawe mikono baada ya mahubiri ya leo na hiyo mikono utakayo nawa kisha baadaye usome kwa sauti zaburi 112 and zaburi 113 and hiyo mikono baada ya kunawa inakuja kuendesha gari you are on a car by the grace of the living god in jesus precious name ya deba california laipe koti kama babari jeregato fena haijalishi madeni uliyo nayo baada ya maombi na mahubiri ya leo wewe nenda ukanawe mikono nawa mikono na maji na baada ya kunawa baada ya kukausha mikono isome kwa sauti za buri 112 na za buri 113 na baada ya kufanya namna hiyo there shall be a reawakening of the anointing of God in your life you shall not be the tail but you shall be the head life yako inaanza kubadilika his spirit ya backsliding in a cool broken from your life who is you kakula chakula na shida any longer wakati umefika mungu wa kuweke huru matatizo ya magoti si ninaambiwa yanaisha leo ninaambiwa every spirit of insecurity in a cool broken from your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ mmoja wa watoto wa hiyo familia ambaye amepangiwa lazima afe in less than two years nina declare nobody is going to die in that very family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ nina declare every preacher ambaye unaihubili injili ya kweli siku ya leo there is a fresh anointing that is coming upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ ananiambia magonjwa yote ya zina anayavunja vunja siku ya leo by the power of the anointing in the name of Jesus Christ ananiambia in less than 13 days a promotion ambayo imepigwa vita mda mrefu inaenda kuwa effected in the mighty name of Jesus Christ ninapiga magoti mahali hapa ninataka ku declare that I have heard in the spirit a God is doing a new thing 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 mambo ya kazi Jehova anakufungulia milango mambo ya shamba na plota something new is happening to you wewe ambaye uko na ugonjwa ambao hauna dawa ye raka kaka bayacho zeregai kaifamai letwana nyabavotio kuna uponyaji unaendelea kuna uponyaji unaendelea kuna uponyaji unaendelea in the might might name of jesus baba katika jina la yesu umeliweka neno ndani yangu ya kwamba huyu ambaye ananipata leo baada ya haya mambo yote ninatabiri aende kanawe mikono yake kama vile kipofu wa John chapter 9 alienda kanawa macho na upofu kaondoka umeniambia uovu na ugonjwa 
e, udhaifu na kila aina ya shida inaenda kuondoka e, baada ya haya mahubiri na maombi anasema nenda ukanawe mikono e, chukua time ya kunawa mikono na baada ya kunawa mikono nenda ukaichukue bible e, kwa sauti usome e, zaburi 112 na zaburi 113 na baada ya kufanya namna hiyo HIV vunjika ugonjwa wa kuashia kovunjika matatizo ya macho malizika e, shida ya choo inaharibiwa matatizo ya kupumua yanaondoka kushindwa na kutembea inaisha kusikia baridi ya malaria inakwisha kulemewa na kukula ili afya yako iharibike zaidi haya mambo yote yanafika mwisho behold the lord is doing a new thing there is something happening to you kuna uponyaji wa maisha yako your life will never be the same again kuna mtu ambaye ulikuwa ni muhuduma ulikuwa na hudumu kwa kazi ya injili na ukaja ukaiacha mambo yako ndio yakaharibika jehova anakuita tena back unto himself and back into divine service in the name of Jesus Christ ninakuambia kuna favor ambayo inatembea right now kuna mtu unanipata dakika hii na kabla sijamaliza utaanza kutapika tapika don't worry about that ni sehemu ya deliverance yako ukombozi wako unatokea in Jesus precious name yeyote ambaye imesemekana ya kwamba utakufa this year ninakuambia hutakufa unaenda kuishi not by power nor by might but by my spirit says the lord nimekubariki uingiapo nimekubariki utokapo nimekubariki uketipo nimekubariki usimamapo kuanzia siku ya leo dhambi sikutawale tena lakini utakatifu kutawale wewe unaenda kufanya kazi not only with the people of your country lakini utafanya kazi pia na watu tofauti na watu wa nchi yako katika jina la Yesu Kristo barikiwa kiroho na ukabarikiwe kifedha barikiwa katika mifugo barikiwa katika maongeo yako barikiwa katika kapu lako barikiwa katika njia zako zote wamekuwa wakikusengenya tu macha but that is the farthest they can go Jehovah amewaruhusu wakuchafulie jina na wakusengenye lakini they cannot do anything beyond kukusengenya na kukuchafulia jina and after all hata jina wakichafua remember wanaweza wakachafua jina lakini roho yako haichafuki maana imeoshwa by the blood of Jesus by the blood of Jesus nimekubariki siku ya leo ninaona mtu ambaye anatembea na chuma Jehovah akikuweka huru siku ya leo leo ndiyo siku ya kuweka chuma chini leo ndiyo siku ya kuweka crutches chini leo ndiyo uponyaji unaingia leo ndiyo Kristo anakuweka huru leo ndiyo nguvu ya Bwana inapenya ndani ya mwili wako yeyote ambaye jicho moja halioni hebu likafunguke right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ nina declare vile nimesikia ya kwamba ndani ya Biblia e, kuna watu waliponea ndani ya maji e, kwenye injili ya Yohana chapter number 9 e, kuna mtu ambaye aliambiwa na Kristo nenda kwenye kisima cha Siloama na wakati alinawa macho yake akaweza kufunguliwa muujiza wake ulipitia kwenye maji na nimeambiwa ni kuambie leo e, baada ya haya yote nimeongea nenda ukatafute maji labda kwa mfereji labda ndani ya bisena labda mtu akumwagilie kwa mikono
mikono na we pia umemwagilie kwa mikono na wakati unanawa mikono e, kuliko uchafu wa kimwili peke yake uondoke even spiritual and medical e, mess e, yote inaenda kuondoka mpendo there is healing in plenty e, there is fever in plenty e, there is abundant favor inayokuja you are where your life will never be the same again the lord has had your prayer and the days of shame they are over a season ya kongangana and you hiyo imefika mwisho baada ya haya yote nilio nena nendo kanawe mikono na baada ya kunawa mikono nendo uchukue biblia usome kwa sauti zaburi 112 na zaburi 113 na baada ya hapo mtolee bwana sadaka fulani laiti ungeli ipanda mbegu ya 1000 au chochote kile Mungu amekusaidia e baada ya haya yote mtolee bwana sadaka fulani na baada ya kumtolea bwana whatever god is going to do in your life it shall be exceedingly above and beyond your understanding remember we are dealing with the god who is the same yesterday today and forever if he has done it once he can do it again our god is a loving god our god is a caring god and behold his presence is here with us yale nimekuambia yafanyishe kazi sasa hivi na baada ya kufanya namna hiyo baraka ya bwana ikakuwa ndame wow jesus i give you praise can i give you the glory in jesus name nataka ubarikiwe na huu shuhuda huyu dada anasema aliniwatch nikihubiri sandi iliyopita na baada ya kuhubiri nikasema kama ni mgonjwa simama anasema kwa miezi miwili hangeweza kusimama na kutembea lakini Mungu alimponya siku ya sandi na amekuja mpaka kwa church kuleta sadaka ya shukurani ya shilingi elfu kumi anasema hana kazi ilifungana lakini tumemtabiria kazi inafunguka anasema baada ya kupona hangeweza kunyamaza lazima angelileta sadaka ya shukurani in the time Jehovah amekutendea kitu anakutarajia ukatoe sadaka ya shukurani hata leo kuna wale watatoa za shukurani kwa maana mambo yale ulikuwa ukiombea Jehovah aliwahi kutendea barikiwa na testimony yake Bwana Yesu asifiwe Amen Amen uh, on Sunday niliona pastor kwa TV ukiwa hali in the morning nikamfungulia nikakuta akiwa mwisho mwisho I was very sick nikasikia kisema kama uko mgonjwa na unasikia kuna kitu na kusumbua simama nikatoka kwa kitanda mbio sana nikakucha nikakaa karibu na TV akasema inua simama na uinua mikono yako nikasimama nikainua mikono yangu for for two months sijakuwa nikiamka but wakati nilinua mikono yangu nikakaa pasta akasema mwishowe kama unajua ya kwamba Mungu amekutendea utakuja kutafuta sadaka ambayo utaweza kusimamisha katika nyumba ya Mungu na Mungu atakutendea. Mimi nikaangalia sikuwa na kitu. Akasema we taja na kuna majina alitaja hapo. Nikauliza Mungu yangu ayuko lakini najua Jehovah vile amesema nikasema nikaambia Mungu akasema tafuta kitu yote yenye utatolea Mungu. Mimi nikaambia Mungu nitamtolea elfu kumi Sina kazi, sina nini. Nilikuwa na kazi zangu zote zikaisha. Nilikuwa na kazi, nilikuwa na e, e, kazi zangu nilikuwa nimeweka zikaisha. Lakini nikaambia Mungu nimetumia pesa hospitali naomba unipatie shilingi elfu kumi ambayo nitakuja niambie Mungu anitetee katika madhabo yake sababu niliamini ukweli nilikuwa na 1000 nikasema sitatuma 1000 but within uh, that was on Sunday up to now nikaambia Mungu sababu sijua kuna na marafiki zangu walikuwa wamekataa na pesa zangu elfu saba, elfu tatu nikapatiwa leo asubuhi zote nikasema Gai, nikasema Mungu kama nimezipata hata kama sina nini I'm going to bring it now sababu Mungu mwenye amenitetea Mungu mwenye ameniokoa na kunifikisha hapa na mshukuru pasta nimekuletea utaniombea tu nibarikishe maisha yako Hayana microphone alafu ni anoint wewe Hayana mic shikilie kwa mabega shikilie kwa mabega In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth 
restoration ya utajiri restoration ya afya whatever the devil has taken and stolen from you nina declare ndio hiyo imerudi ya
now for all the information concerning giving the information is here the paypal information or you can even use the western union you can use the moneygram and you can use my name pius muiro and if you do that you rest assured that everything is gonna reach where it is needed to reach for the glory of god otherwise god bless you sustain you fight your battles but above all i'm reminding you that what the enemy had designed for evil jesus is turning it around for your good Thank you.